Hey guys, welcome back to the data cleaning process. And we are talking about missing values. And specifically, we're going to go through a process called imputation. Now this is kind of cool and interesting, that's for sure. Imputation is the process where you take nulls and you replace them with a pretty good value to use instead of null. <laughs> so it's kind of like you don't want to get rid of this feature, but you don't want to have a bunch of nulls. So you replace the nulls with something that would still be okay. It's kind of weird because I've being in like database development and programming, I just feel like you shouldn't be able to do that. Like this person's null here, so I'm just gonna change it. <laughs> it seems really odd to me. But the reason we're allowed to do these things is because we're not doing this to change our data. <laughs> Remember that, okay? We're not trying to change our data. We are trying to change our model for reality. If reality is most people have values for this, but our data set tells us that most people don't, that is not a good model of reality. So we take that data set and we are going to convert it to a more realistic data set that represents reality better. <laughs> so we have a null. How do you know what to replace it with? Typically you're going to replace it with a measure of central tendency, which I did a video on. <laughs> I told you that would be important. So what would we do for example? Let's say we take every null and we replace it with the mean. What that does is it looks at all of our data and it stays generally the same but now we don't have a lot of nulls. And because we used one of the measures of central tendency, the making of the data didn't change a whole lot. For example, if the mean was like 10 and we made all nulls 20, well, that's going to pull the mean closer to 20. So we wanna make sure we're not skewing our data so we do something such as using the mean. So rather than replacing nulls with 20, we replace them with 10. And what that does is it keeps everything centered at 10. That being said, it is still a little bit dangerous. For example, if we make a lot of nulls the mean, well, that'll actually change some of the other central tendencies. So for example, the mode will change. If we make, you know, 20% of our rows where they have nulls and we change that feature's value to the mean, well, that might actually change the mode to be the mean. Because now, 20% of our row actually has the mean value, and it might change from some other value to the mean. That's just a minor example, and it probably wouldn't be that big of a deal, but I just wanna point something out here, is that you have to find a very balanced balance. <laughs> and I'm sure this is an area of controversy. Because if you think about what I mentioned earlier, having a data set that doesn't really represent reality and changing it to, a rep to uh, represent reality better, well, maybe by changing it, we're doing the opposite and making it not represent reality. Oh, you see what I'm saying? So I would say stick in the middle a little bit, change it some to make our data cleaner, but don't change it so much that we have this quasi-reality that really isn't realistic at all. See what I'm saying? Exactly, I was hoping you'd say that. So for each of these data cleaning techniques, you gotta be very careful you don't overdo it. It's kinda like makeup, right? We're taking something that's hideous, we're adding a little bit of makeup just to, you know, complement complement the eyes and stuff, but if we do too much, we, we turn something hideous into a monster. <laughs> With just a little bit of changes, you know, we can make it make it look okay. So that's how you should approach cleaning your data. <laughs> Gosh, that was a beautiful illustration. <sighs> I love it. All right, that's all I got for data cleaning when it comes to nulls. In the next video, we're going to be talking about data cleaning, but for a different issue. So please be sure to check that out and be sure to subscribe. Thank you, and I'll see you then.